coronal synostosis involves a fusion of the growth place across the top of the head. These run side to side from the uh, anterior fontanelle or from the baby's soft spot. When this occurs on one side of the head, the skull will twist, but when it occurs on both sides of the head, in this situation, the skull is foreshortened and much taller. Again, when you compare that to a normal child's skull growth, you can see the foreshortened appearance, but even more so in the lateral appearance, how uh, short the forehead is. This will also pull the face backwards on the child, so you see almost an underbite appearance where the eyes are back and the cheeks are back as well. Treatment for uh, bicoronal synostosis needs a very thorough evaluation by multiple specialists before we proceed. Often bicoronal synostosis will be associated with Apert's or Cruzon syndrome, and those can be diagnosed by our genetic specialists and have some other implications for development down the line. The first goal here is to give the brain space in the back and then to advance the front forward. The traditional surgery involves both the front and the back and is an extremely long operation. At Helen DeVos Children's, we're also able to offer a distraction or a stretching of the posterior skull that will slowly grow bone posteriorly in a much less invasive primary operation. And then we come back as the child's somewhat older to perform a directed growth operation to the forehead, similar to how we would treat a child with a metopic synostosis or a fusion down the front. Postoperatively, children with bicoronal synostosis um, have a much brief, briefer hospital stay using a staged approach distraction, and then directed growth for the forehead. Um, if a, a total vault, a cranial vault reconstruction or CVR is performed, uh, then we're going to be in the hospital for about four or five days, uh, but we will be home um, without the need for future helmet molding therapy. If we're able to operate earlier on these children, the posterior distraction is really only a one-day hospital stay until we get the distraction underway that child will be back in the operating room in a two-stage procedure to apply our directed growth operation for the forehead. Just like with metopic synostosis or with the sagittal synostosis, when the forehead is advanced, usually we're in the hospital for about three days. The vast majority of our kids are home on post-operative day three, uh, and we usually follow them up with helmet molding therapy over a few months afterwards. Mm -hmm.